Making a simple Stirling engine, step one. The goal of this new engine is to make it out of parts everyone should be able to purchase locally. My previous engines would have been hard to duplicate since key parts were made out of scrap. The one exception to this is the splicer cylinder. This will become custom and you will have to adjust your plan to match what you make. I prefer glass because it is a good insulator. It can take a lot of heat and of course everyone likes to see the displacer move. In this case I settled on a 13 ounce olive jar. The cylinder is cut out of this bottle with a cutter I recently purchased at a local hobby store. First you will need to make a hole in the lid that fits into the cutter like so. Then put two score lines down starting with the bottom one. So that the score lines match up when you get all the way around. You only want to go around once. Nice even score line. I had tried earlier and uh, kind of went crooked there, but we're going to do two score lines lower down. Now I need to make a mark for my second score line to match my displacer height. Obviously, you could use a ruler, but I'm going to use the displacer I made earlier to do that. made my other mark. I've adjusted the distance to match up with the other mark and I'll go down the second square line now. Now you can see we have two relatively good score lines right here and here. I'm going to go try and separate the jar by running it under hot and cold water. Once you get the water jar nice and hot with the hot water, then we'll switch to the cold. Typically you do that a few times and the jar comes apart. Good. So, Alright, I can see the, the lines getting much bigger now. Probably is part. Nope, not yet. Let's get them there. Now. All right, there's one piece. Okay. Hold again. Circles like this. Use a combination of doing that. In this case, we gotta get that bump down a bit, but. We can kind of focus on different areas. That's a pretty big chunk we're gonna sand down there, so. Uh, but I'll also use as the uh, as a hand sander. Pretty, pretty good progress fairly quickly. Um, be sure to always wear 
save the glasses, ear production, all that stuff. So also, obviously, gloves are the way you want to go. It's glass. See, it's starting to smooth out. Um, after you work at it a while, you end up with a pretty good smooth finish on the sides. Nice and even. This is one I did earlier. Um, obviously it's key to get a nice even smooth score or you end up with stuff like that or like that.